Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to this new video and in today's video we'll see how we can create this beautiful fly in pop-up like this one as you can see it's it's a really really great way to attract more people and you can increase your email list or you can add a sale notice to your site so that's what we are going to do today so we'll see how to recreate this in Divi and uh, yeah, let's get started. So here you will have to follow the first link in the description of this video and you will get to this article right over here. And uh, from here you will be able to download this layout that I have created by spending two days. And just click over here and it will take you to right over here where you can enter your name, your email and then submit. So let's enter the name and then submit and then you will see a download button right over here. Uh, don't worry about that. You can simply just download it. Okay, so let's click on it and it will be downloaded to your computer. And so once it's downloaded, you will just right click on it and extract it here and then you will get this .json file and this is what we need to work with, all right? So let's go to our WordPress dashboard and from here, let's quickly create a new page. All right, so let's give it a title as fly in and use the DB builder. All right, so let's build from scratch and yeah, here, we need to drag and drop this .json file to the DB Builder and if you have uh, some content in your page already and you don't want to delete it, make sure that this option is unchecked and then simply click on import DB Builder layout and it's done. As you can see, we have successfully added it to our page so let's simply publish this page and see it in front end because in the builder the scripts aren't loaded and you will not see anything here correctly yeah so let's click here as you can see it's it's really really great and it, it works just the same as you will see on elegant teams website yeah, I just really liked it and I was wanted to create this from a very long time in DV. So here it is. So as you can see, I had this email opt-in module right over here. So when I will click on it, it will show this intro your email address, just like you will see on Elegant Teams website. It's really, really great. And yeah, you will also this floating uh, multi images. These images are floating and and let's see how to add the same effect if you have something else in your uh, in your this fly in pop up so all you have to do is just open up this image setting go to design custom css and simply copy the css from here and let's say you want to add this animation to this text module right over here this one and go to advanced custom CSS and just paste it and you will see that it's floating just like these images so yeah so that's it and uh, if you want to do some advanced changes then you will you can go to the layers view and then here you will be able to find the core modules that I have added if you want to do any custom changes so here this one is the CSS and this one is the jQuery code for flying pop-up box and don't delete it it's very important all right so let's uh, say if you want to change something from here here you will find all the code if you have some some knowledge about it you can simply edit it the way you want and here is the CSS you can also edit it the way you want but I don't think you will need to edit it because there is nothing like that you need to change but I have added this small little text that indicate what the CSS is about. Right? So yeah, that is a very, very creative thing to add on your DB website. And I hope you will found it very, very useful and it will help you to attract your visitors to your, uh, this pop-up to increase your sales or 
or stuff like that but i really hope it's helpful to you so yeah that's it for today's video i hope you've enjoyed it and make sure you subscribe because subscribers aren't so good they just watch my video and just go away and they don't subscribe if you if you feel free please click that red subscribe button i, I will really appreciate that thank you so much